Right, we're back finally, and my hearse has turned up, and hopefully today it's just going to be a straightforward swap. I've got the tank all taken off. I had to slice this open a bit so I could actually get access to this, because this is so hard. Couldn't get the texture in, so I'll end up having to take that back out, but I needed to make sure that I ordered the right hats. So there's two different types, one which is this style, and one which is a bit more square. As you can see, I've ordered the Bosch S here. So, looks like it connects up through the middle here, and the front has to come off, which is going to be my first task. Hopefully, this should go relatively smoothly. I'm not doing um, anything complicated, it's just going to be a straightforward swap. I'm going to score down and just try and put it in place and see how that goes. So, let's get started. All right, we've got to take off this cover using hex keys. I've actually loosened this one already just to make sure the right size. There's a little washer in there. And it looks like there's one hidden by my water, water cooler, sorry, oil cooler. It's actually a really awkward position. Mainly because of this, um, what's it called? Steering dampener? Just slightly in the way. Now, is it the only two sides? Two bolts, or is there a third somewhere? Looks like it's two bolts per side. Yeah. Shall find out. It's my first time doing this job. It's inevitably something's going to go wrong. It's not a job I want to do more than once. It's not been a very pleasant any experience with a spike so far. Yeah, I pick it up as a fault. Think to myself, nah, it's just going to be a simple fuel pump issue. No. But at least we're learning how this bike works quite well. <laughs> I'm a little bit cramped back here. Starting to regret this choice of doing it myself, but we shall see how difficult it ends up being. Right. Now, how does this come out? Oh, looks like it slides from the bottom and wiggles out. And that all comes out. Now I can see where the Hess goes. So there's the top bolt there, two bottom bolts here. But this has to come off. Yeah. So let's find out what that is. I think I'll have to get my wife to assist me in standing on the rear brake. Let's find out what that is first. 17. That's a good guess. Let's try coming at it from this side. Turns everything. All right. I use the technique of getting my wife to stand on the back brake, whacking it in sixth gear, and then unwinding this. Now, that's a 17 mil. All the other instructions I've said is 16, which somewhat concerns me. But it was definitely 17 for me. 
this thing is out. out. Looks to be off. That was fun. Let's have a look at the belt as well. Which all looks to be okay. Terrible position if you want to do the belt. So not the housing here. How does this come out? No one ever tells you. That's that goes inside there. That looks to be keyed somehow. And then that's revealed my Hess unit. So what I'm going to do is score here and here so I got an idea of where it goes back on. Okay, so to mark the alignment, what I've done is I've used some black tape on the edges at the top there bottom there so that when I unbolt it put the new one in exactly the same place and we'll see how that gets on I was looking at using a scoring method but I didn't think it scored well marker was just coming through off because of the filth and cleaning solution so hopefully this is going to be the method that works and then we'll get it all kind of keyed in a bit of tape top bottom and we'll see how we get on okay next job is to remove it and hopefully not damage the tape. Does anyone else have an idea of what this is here? As it connects down underneath and is trapping the alternator uh, belt and also made getting the Hess out from this connector an absolute nightmare. Anyone's got any ideas? Let me know. All right, that's the Hess fitted and wired back. Clips secured. And as you can see, it's in there in the line back to the tape markings top and bottom and on the other side. So I'm going to remove them now. And then this should be a case of getting the alternator back in. Oh, sorry, the alternator cable back on. And going from there. But this was a little bit more complicated than I imagined. Get grip of this tape. But yeah, because this here, trying to get everything past the top, awkward. So maybe that has to come off to do the alternator belt swap. I'm quite pleased my alternator belt looks all right. Anyway, I shall drop you back in when I've got everything back together. Okay, that is all back in, alternator-wise, tensioned up, cables, everything's connected, everything sat correctly, everything's at the right tension. That's talked down to the 15 newton meters. Sorry, the pulley there is 15 newton meters. So, in theory, all I've got to do is put the cover on and connect it all up, put my battery back in, and give it a start and see what happens. So, I'm going to do all that and get back to you. Feeling this through was painful, but not too bad. Once I figured out how it goes out, I'd love to know what that's for because I haven't seen on some of the other engine designs and uh, other pictures on guides for this but that's tensioned correctly hopefully I'm gonna leave the cover off so I can still get to everything I'm gonna give this a go and we'll see how we get on so I've had it all back together it's not really starting it did briefly start ran for a few seconds, then died. And when I came to it, I checked these bolts holding the Hess in and it was just off uh, looseness. And I think what happened was they vibrated a bit loose because I didn't have them torqued correctly, which means the alignment is now off. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is sort out the alignment. So I'll just give you an example of what happens when it tries to start. Everything's through. You can hear it popping and banging. And 
that makes me think the timing isn't quite right. So what I'm going to have to do is get the timing light and figure out how all of that works. So I'll do that at another point in time. Because the whole point of this is to have fun, not to um, get frustrated. And I think at this point I'm getting a bit frustrated and I'd be better suited putting it back together for a bit and enjoying a long weekend. So hopefully I'll catch you next time. If anyone's got any hints on what to do to make this better for the future or make this easier, let me know. But this Hess thing is uh, getting to be a bit of a pain, so I have to figure out how to time it correctly. At least then I can eliminate that. So if anyone's got any good timing tips, let me know. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers.